Hey guys, it's Connor and welcome back to my channel, The Closet. If you're stopping by for the first time, welcome. My channel is a platform where I like to share my thoughts, views and opinions of everything within the Lux world and I am a bit of a self-proclaimed Hermes expert. Of course, I was bound to run into a quality control issue with a Louis Vuitton product because it has happened quite a bit lately, but I'm okay with it and the end result was fine. But I wanted to talk today about my Speedy B, which I purchased last year in September, received it in October, and then six weeks ago, I noticed that it was a problem with it. So let's just get into it. So like I said, six weeks ago, I was looking at my Speedy and I noticed on the handle, there was something wrong with the glazing. At first I thought I'd chipped it or I'd like my keys had picked at it or something like that. But then once I saw it was happening all in different places along the handle, I knew that there was something wrong and I, I doubt that I had caused it. I sent the photos of it to one of my friends who is a bit of an Hermes, uh, Hermes, a bit of a Louis Vuitton collector. And she noticed two things. The first thing was that the glazing shouldn't be doing that and that it was actually lifting. And the second thing she noticed was that the glazing on my handles was very shiny and it was almost like a honey consistency. So it was kind of like that very high gloss and super shiny. And she noticed that that was very different to a lot of the other, um, speedy she'd had and key balls that she'd had. Also, she herself had also just received a mon monogram key ball and the sounded like a dinosaur, but, um, <laughs> but, um, the glazing on her bag was completely different and it matched the glazing on most of her other bags as well. So I thought mm, that was strange. I didn't want to waste any time. So the next weekend I was going to Pacific Fair Shopping Center on the Gold Coast where there's a Louis Vuitton store and um, I took the bag in. The SA I spoke to was lovely. She had a look at the bag. She could see that um, not only was it so new, less than six months old, but the condition it was in, of course, me. What can I say? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, I actually hadn't used the bag as much as I'd like to because of COVID and blah, blah, blah. So um, yeah, the bag was great. She, the first thing she noticed was that the glazing looked different to the glazing that she had seen on Speedies too. So I was like, what the hell is going on with this glazing? Why is everyone like talking about how different it is? And because I'd never owned a Louis Vuitton piece, I, I didn't pick up on it. I didn't notice it at all. Um, but she said that the glazing should not be lifting like it was, and it would have to be sent away for repair. Um, for example, the cost of it, if I were to pay for it because it was damaged by something I had done, it would cost 360 Australian dollars, but because it was deemed as defective by Louis Vuitton, I didn't have to pay. Um, and I had to put all my details out on this form and it was getting shipped to the Singapore repair center. I think she said, and it was going to take 14 weeks. I wasn't too fast on the time frame because it is what it is. I can't argue about that. Um, I'm just kind of happy that they were going to fix it. So, um, yeah, took the bag and, um, she asked if I wanted to have it either sent to my address when it was completed or pick it up in the store. I opted to have it picked up in the store because, Two reasons. One, if I wasn't happy with how it was repaired, I would not want to go through the whole process of having to get DHL to pick it up, send it back, blah, blah, blah. Um, and the second option is if they accidentally damage other parts of the bag, um, I didn't want to go down that route of having to prove that they had done it, blah, blah, blah. So I just ruled out all of that and decided to pick up it in the store. Um, she said it was going to take 14 weeks, but it didn't. It took uh, four weeks. Um, so I picked it up today and this is what it looks like. Yay! I'm so happy it's back. It's a bit smushy because it was folded to be, um, to be, you know, sent away, but it'll get its, it'll get its groove back. But this is what the glazing looks like now. Now, because of the, the light reflection, it, it does look a little bit shiny, but it, it's completely different to how it originally looked. Um, it's definitely more matte. You can kind of see it there. Definitely more matte and like a very light, like a very matty gloss color, which is what it was supposed to be originally, I guess. But um, they did an amazing job repairing it. It looks, you know, fantastic. And I'm very happy um, because I'm a bit, you know, <laughs> a bit of a perfectionist. I was like looking at it in the store like, 
really carefully to make sure that there was nothing else, but it was fine, perfect, and I'm super happy with how they repaired it. Um, it also comes with this little letter thing saying, hey, we fixed your bag, but that's obvious because you've got it back. <laughs> I asked the SA if this had happened before or if she'd had any other clients come in having to send their bags away for similar reasons. And she told me that she personally hadn't, but there seemed to have been a bit of a recall with this type of glazing on some bags. And she said it was limited to the keepals and speedies. And it's something to do with the glazing isn't adhering properly to the vachetta when it's applied. And then ultimately it starts to lift. I was one of the lucky ones where obviously my bag had used that type of glazing. So, you know, I said to her, I should buy a lottery ticket. And you know, the joke didn't land. It went right over her head, but you know, <laughs> I tried, but um, whilst I was in the store waiting for her to pick it, like go get it from the back room, I decided, oh, I'm just going to buy something because I, I just, I was in that mood to buy something. So I'm going to do a small unboxing of the two items that I bought today as well. So guys, bear with me. I've never done an unboxing before, but this is the first item. It's in this cute little bag. I'm just gonna undo that ribbon. It's so exciting. I'll take it. How the hell do you open this? What is that? Like wax? It? Oh no, it's like a, it's like a little sticky note. So I've been wanting to, before I open it and get you all excited, I've been wanting one of these for a while and um, I am denied because of the cost, but it's something that I like. Ta -da! So it's the Louis Vuitton, it's a perfume. Um, I got it in the 100 mil size and it is the Meteor, or however you pronounce it. I don't know if that's going to even show. Meteor or something like that. Um, and when I went into, oh, maybe it'll just it up there. Um, when I went into the store, um, I asked the SA after she'd come back with my bag, I said, look, I want, um, a perfume, but one of my friends said, avoid, um, these types of Louis Vuitton perfumes, like the under the sun or the whatever it is, um, because they don't last very long when you spray it on. They're like a very quick kind of smelling one. Um, so my friend said, pick from this selection and she sent a screenshot of the perfumes. The, the SA knew exactly what I was talking about and she selected like five or six of them. Um, and she sprayed them all on the cards and this is the one I love the most. So I'm just gonna open it. Really smell it through the box. But the bottle's really pretty as well. I'm sure you guys have all seen. How do you get into this cryptic thing? Oh, there. So the Louis Vuitton um, perfumes come in this gorgeous, like white cylindrical box thing. Oh, it's so pretty. So that's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, that smells so nice. It's like a, it's like a, a very light, I can't even explain it. <laughs> It's like a, like a florally, citrusy, like very light smelling, but it smells so good. It smells like summer and happy and like oceany. <laughs> but yeah, that's the um, Meteore, however you say it. Um, and it costs 300, oh no, sorry, $440, I think, but worth it. The second item I got to unbox is this little one. Um, this also is something that I've been wanting for a while. Um, but every time I've gone into the boutique or looked online, it's always just been randomly out of stock. Um, it's not an item that is like something I would say is that in demand, but I don't know. It was just always out of stock. I don't know what it's called. It's a little dust bag. Yay. So it's like this um, keychain key holder thing in um, monogram eclipse and it's got like a not it's like not palladium it's like a gray a light gray kind of hardware and it matches it kind of matches the monogram actually so definitely something that I've been wanting for a while Let's see it's called petite Clez drag whatever that is dragon 
No, I don't know what it is, but the perfume was $440 and then that was $410. So thanks so much guys for checking out my video. If you've had similar experiences with Louis Vuitton bags or similar glazing issues, pop them down in the comments below. Um, and also if you have any other topics or things you'd like me to talk about on my channel, also pop them down below. I'd also love it if you guys could like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you next time with my next video.